What's going on YouTube? This is Dark Lord Destro making a video for a tutorial on how to transfer or use your Xbox 360 files, your custom rosters, over to the Xenia emulator for the PC. And uh, Xenia emulator, what it is, is you're able to use or play Xbox 360 games on the PC. Now, in the past, we weren't using this uh, emulator for All Pro because it wouldn't allow you to, the game wouldn't save. And so, recently, as of three days ago, September 15th, 2021, uh, they came up with a new version of the emulator. So now, you're able to save. And the key to is then, okay, we know how to save, then how can we use our custom rosters and carry it over to the, to the emulator? And so, I tried it last night, and after about an hour of doing some things, I figured it out, and I'd like to show you guys. So... Of course, before we get started, I always tell everyone to go under options, go to your settings, and make sure that you turn your auto save off. Okay, once you've done that, then you want to go ahead and save your settings um, so they don't worry about it in the future. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go to the Xbox. Well, before we get started, I want to show you on this screen here, you'll see on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you'll see Xbox. Okay, then once I switch to the screens over, you'll see Xenia. Okay, that's going to let you know the difference between, or let me know also as well, the difference between having the screen on Xbox and having it on the Xenia emulator so that we know what's uh, what's going on. Alrighty, as you can see, you see one set of teams for the Xenia. When I switch over to the Xbox, you'll see I have the Redskins 91 team. This is a little roster I kind of put together. I haven't really gone in and tweaked it like I should, but because I've just been busy, but... The key is we want to transfer this file from the Xbox 360 console or console over to the Xenia emulator. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go, we're going to save the file, the roster, onto the flash drive. All right, now we're going to take the flash drive out of the Xbox. We're going to insert it inside the computer. Okay, once you've done that, you want a little horizon. And I'll bring that up surely so you can see it. Okay, now we are on horizon and select it. All Pro. Now you do see a bunch of uh, files here. For you, you shouldn't see this many, but for me, I got a bunch of roster files just named differently. But the main one that you focus on is the roster.ros file. And of course, in my case right here, since I got a bunch of, this is the most recent one, okay? So then you double click it. Okay, you come to this screen right here. Alrighty. You go over to contents, okay? Then you see the roster.ros file. You select it. Then you want to press your right button on your mouse. And then you have these options here. Okay. You want to extract. Okay. Because you're going from you're going from this file and you want to save it over the file that is inside the emulator. So then you want to go to extract. Okay. Once you've done that, you want to go over to you want to go over here to where your file is located on the emulator. Now, I already have it pinned over here on the left-hand side. So, whatever you have, it, you know, this is like the default uh, spot for it. This PC, documents, in your content, this number, that directory, and then the roster.rise. Now, you can do that. That's the fast way to do it, just pinning it. Or you can just bring it up yourself. Either way, you go to this part right here. You select roster.rise. And then you say save. Do you want to replace it? You go yes. File extracted successfully. Okay. You hit okay. Now we're going to go over to the Xenia. Alrighty. Now remember, we're transferring the team file that I have, the 91 skins, from the Xbox over to the emulator. So now we're on Xenia. So now. Whoops. Go over to options. 
Load, load. Bring down a roster. And look, now we have the same roster that we have, that we had on the Xbox. Now we got it on here. Of course, I ain't finished all the team. I'm just messing with it. Never even got around to it. But as you can see, we just transferred the roster files from the Xbox to the console that's how you want to transfer it to the um, machine now if you want to transfer it back let's just say you made some adjustments to it and you want to you know transfer it back or let's say you're in the SFL and you're constantly switching back uh, the roster files between people on your in your organization okay now what you would do is let's get out of here one second here was Xenia move over here And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go back to the Xbox. And the reason being is because I want to load up a different roster file so that we know what we're doing here and won't, there won't be any confusion. So, let's go over to here. Give me one second, please. What I'm doing is I'm just loading up a different roster so we can... There won't be any issues here. So I'm going to bring up... Uh, hold on. Okay, so now this is the Xbox. So, now we know that the Xbox on the console has this roster. It says Indians. If we go back over to the Xenia, we will see that this got the 91 team. So now what we want to do, we want to transfer the file from the emulator over to the Xbox. So, I've only done this once, and I got it right once. I got it wrong a few times, so hopefully I have it right this time for you all to see, or to witness. So, once again, we're transferring the file from Xenia. This file with the 91 Redskins from the Xenia emulator over to the Xbox. And as you can see, it's got Indians. Okay, so let's go back to the Xenia. We know that the file's in there. Alrighty, now... Let's go back to Horizon. Alrighty, now you go back to the screen. You click on package in intro or info. You go back to the screen. Okay, now you have contents. So you either hit that content tab or you hit this one. They're the same. Doesn't matter. Okay, you go to roster.ros file. It's already selected. Just hover your mouse over it, and you want to press the right button on your mouse. Okay, now instead of extracting it, now you want to replace it. Okay, so you replace it. And then once, this, once again, I said go to that directory where your, uh, where your location of where your save files are for your uh, Xenia. You want to go to that location. And then, like I said, the fast way to do it is to pin it once you get there so you can always go back to it with uh, haste. Okay, now we're here. So then... We go select this one, ros.ros. We hit open. File replaced successfully. Okay. Now we hit OK. Now we click on save, rehash, and resign. Save, rehash, and resign to device. Okay. Now we're going to close this out. We're going to have to close this out. We're going to take the flash drive out of the computer. We're going to go over to the Xbox. Alrighty. Let's go back over to the screen. Where's the Xbox? Okay. Now we see that it still has the old roster. And now, since I have the USB flash drive inside the Xbox 360, now I'm going to load it up. As you can see, this is what the file is on right now for the Xbox okay here we go options 
Load, load. Just let the flash drive. Load the flash drive roster. Boom. There you go. So now I just done showed you how using Horizon to transfer your rosters from the Xbox to the emulator and from the emulator back to the Xbox. So this is Dark Lord Destro signing off. You have any questions? Any more questions, concerns, what have you? All you do is hit me up. Talk to y'all later. Peace.